tutorial on how to set up a template for Illustrator along with specific swatches. This again is for Illustrator. Sorry guys, I'm not sure how to make this template for the other vector programs. Uh, something else to note is I am using RGB codes that are available for Lightburn. You can search Glowforge RGB codes as well if you wanted to set up a, a template with uh, for Glowforge. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the template that we are going to create. First thing I need to do is go to File and we are going to say New and we are going to select Web and we are going to make sure that we have RGB color selected and we are going to hit Create. Now I know my codes. Let me see if I can pull my codes over this one. Okay, so these are the colors that I know that Lightburn uses from start to finish. I am going to go through, make a bunch of boxes and make sure those colors are all on my worksheet. I will probably just do five or six just as an example because there are a lot of colors, but we're just gonna make a bunch of boxes. Whoops. We could select our boxes. We can use our uh, distribute evenly. And then let's go ahead and distribute to make them level. Let's go ahead and hit copy and paste. And maybe do it one more time, like so. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select on this first one. I'm gonna change the fill to the first color, which is 000, and hit enter. If, when you click to fill, you're on this, just click over here, okay? So that's where you're gonna enter in your codes. And then my stroke is also set to the same color. So now I'm just gonna to go to the next one, click fill. I'm gonna change it to 00255. 00255, hit enter. I can do it again. So we are going to say 255, 00, 255, So you just keep going along down your list of colors that you want to use. Whoops, that should, oh, that's right, yep. Zero. Okay, and then we've got two zero, oops. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do a couple more and then we'll leave it at that and then I'll show you what to do next. So two, five, five, one two eight zero two five five one two eight zero whoops one two eight zero I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these so now we've got six colors here but we could do again like my other template we could do the full range of colors if you wish um, so we've got these five color or these six colors I'm gonna to go to my window and I'm gonna to go to swatches. And currently you can see all my swatches are all these different colors. Um, I could say, click on these three lines up here, say select all unused colors and I could then hit um, delete. Or actually I probably need to Delete swatches, yes. And then I'm going to select all those colors and I'm going to say, add selected colors. So it's, it's actually got some of my colors duplicated. So like this blue is the same as this blue. That's okay. If we wanted to, we could um, we could select that color, this color, 
Um, looks like that color was duplicated. We could just delete those. That's fine. So there's your, your color palette. White is there. None is there. Okay. Uh, I, because I design files, I like to add in this one inch square and say one inch. So then every time I can just open this template when I am designing, um, but we don't need to do it for this one. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say file and I'm going to save as template. And then I like to put it in a spot that I'm going to remember where it's at. So I, maybe I go to desktop and I say template for illustrator and then hit save. Okay. So the other thing I need to do is save this actual swatch. So we have these colors right here. We can go down to this swatch libraries menu, hit the drop down, and we're going to say save swatches. Now we could call this laser file. We could call this Robin's favorite colors. We can call it whatever we want. Okay. So let's call it Robin's, Robin's, Robin's fave colors. Okay. And uh, it is saving it under swatches and we're going to hit save. So now we could go down here and we could go to user defined and we should be able to find Robin's fave colors and open that up and it's going to have our swatch menu. So now if I wanted to open and I wanted to use my template for Illustrator, I just click on it and say open. Oops, let's close it. File, open, open. And it's going to actually open it as an untitled file. It's not gonna open it as the template. So hopefully this helps anyone that is having issues or having questions about how to properly set up a template and set up your swatch library.